Yo, yo, YouTube, what's up with your boy, Sports and Fitness Rants? I'm back, guys. Click that like button. Subscribe to my channel. What's up, y'all? Welcome back, guys. Welcome back. Got another great video for you guys today. As usual, you guys know the deal on this channel, man. We must continue to put some respect on Michael Jordan in the 80s and the 90s, guys. Specifically the 90s. You know the deal, man. We must continue to stand up, set the record straight, stop the lies, stop the narratives. We must continue to educate. And in this video, we're going to speak about how in the 1990s, the Eastern Conference was known for being the more physical conference, right? Known for being a more of a defensive minded, grinded out kind of conference, while the Western Conference was known for being more of a run and gun, you know, higher pace of play, higher scoring teams. This was the deal in the 1990s, guys. That was the dichotomy between the East and Western Conference. So this is what we're always alluding to when we talk about the Eastern Conference when Michael Jordan played in the 90s. It was the Eastern Conference, like I said, that was known for being more physical, for being a more grinded out conference. We're going to talk about this video, guys. And I want to thank you guys, everyone across the world, everyone across the states has been supporting my channel, guys. I'm truly humbled by support, man. For real. Shout out to all you guys out there, man. Real recognize real, man. The true NBA fans, but the true basketball fans are standing up and we must continue, guys, to set the record straight and we must continue to educate. So much respect to everybody out there. Shout out to everybody in the membership. Once again, thank you guys, for real. It means a lot, man. And you guys know what to do. Turn the volume all the way up. Hit that play button. Remember, these videos are for educational purposes. And let's roll. So yes, guys, like I said, man, back in the day, you know, back in the 90s, I'm always telling you guys that when Michael Jordan played in the Eastern Conference, guys, the Eastern Conference was known for being a physical conference. This was the scenario. This is how it was. I'm telling you right now. When you think about some of the top defensive teams coming into the 90s, you think about some of the Eastern Conference teams, right? The Detroit, Detroit Pistons, the Philadelphia Sixers, the Boston Celtics, the Milwaukee Bucks. These were some of the top team defensive teams in the 80s, in the NBA, guys, right? It was the Eastern Conference. It was known for being that kind of team, a grinding out kind of team. So when we make that, you know, transition into the 90s, much of the same would remain. Where we talk about the teams of the 1990s and we think about the physical, hard-nosed defensive teams, we think about the Eastern Conference. Talking about teams like the Chicago Bulls, well, who are known for being a tough defensive team. The New York Knicks of the 90s were known for being a tough defensive-minded team, right? We think about the uh, Miami Heat. Of the, of the mid to late 90s, being a tough defensive team. The Indiana Pacers of the mid to late 90s, we think about them being a tough defensive team. And we think about the Detroit Pistons of the early 90s, 1990, 91, 92, about them being one of the top defensive teams in the early 90s. These are all Eastern Conference teams. When we think about the Western Conference in the 90s, guys, now, I'm not saying that there weren't Western Conference teams that didn't play defense. It wasn't necessarily the defense. It was the style of play. Like I said, it was more of a higher pace, run and gun type of, you know, uh, offenses, type of teams. We think about the Denver Nuggets of the 90s or the Golden State Warriors of the 90s, the Phoenix Suns of the 90s. These were more the higher scoring teams, right? The up and down kind of pace teams. These teams in the 90s were usually the top two, three, four, five teams in pace. Was usually Western Conference teams, the Trail Blazers, right? Sometimes were up there. And then when you think about the slower paced teams, right, these are the teams I was telling you guys about in the Eastern Conference, more of a grinded out type of defense, more physical, right? These games, these teams, the New York Knicks, the Bulls, like I said, the Heat, the Pacers, the Pistons, these are the teams that you thought about in the 1990s, in the Eastern Conference. It was two different kinds of styles, guys. That's the way it was. These are the facts, guys, of the, of the teams in the 90s. That was the dichotomy between the Eastern Conference teams and the Western Conference teams. Once again, this is not to say that the Western Conference teams did not play defense. Teams like the Houston Rockets or the San Antonio Spurs, the Utah Jazz were known for being defensive teams. But once again, it's the overall perception of the Western Conference. This is what they were known for. They were usually the higher scoring teams, the higher paced play. That's just the way it was, guys, in the 80s and the 90s. When we think about, you know, the transition into the uh, 2000s where the pace became very slow, right? You think about some of the teams 
right? Like the San Antonio Spurs of the Western Conference, right? They were one of the top defensive teams. We think about the New Jersey Nets of the early 2000s. They were a tough defensive team uh, with a, or a slower pace. The Detroit Pistons of the early 2000s, we know as being one of the, the best defensive teams. But when we think about the 1990s, guys, it was a much, the pace was a little bit different, right? It wasn't that transition until the late 90s into the 2000s where the pace became more of a grinded out pace overall across the NBA's landscape. In the 90s, right, in that early 90s into that late 90s, you still had those high-flying, high-octane, like I said, run-and-gun type teams. The Golden State Warriors, the Denver Nuggets, the Phoenix Suns, the Trailblazers, these teams were scoring 110, 115 points a game, right? Back in the early to mid 90s. And it was the Eastern Conference teams, right? The Knicks, the Pistons, right? The Bulls that were a little bit less scoring, right? Not as high of a pace of play. More of a grinded out type, half court games, not fast breaking up and down, right? Think about the Showtime Lakers of the 80s, right? They were up and up and down the court type of team. Not to say that they weren't a good defensive team because they were a good defensive team with guys like Michael Cooper, Byron Scott, Kareem Abdul-Jabbar, A.C. Green, some of these guys. It wasn't about that. It was about the type of play, the style of play that they implemented, right? The pace of play. So you're not a grinded out defensive team. You're up and down the court, right? Making defensive stops when you need to, but at the same time, putting points up. That wasn't the Eastern Conference team. That wasn't the Detroit Pistons or the Boston Celtics, the Milwaukee Bucks, the Philadelphia Sixers. A lot of these teams were more half-court oriented, executing offense, things of that nature. Whereas, like I told you guys, in the 90s, you had the high-flying, fast-break teams like the Golden State Warriors with the run TMC, right? Like the Denver Nuggets, like the Phoenix Suns with the Kevin Johnson. Right? These are some of the teams, guys, that were the higher scoring teams back in them days. This is how it was, guys. So remember, when I tell you guys or I talk to you guys about Michael Jordan on this channel and we're talking about teams grinding it out, right? And we're talking about the defensive teams of these eras, then we must remember, this is what I'm talking, alluding to, guys. It was different kinds of uh, uh, defense or different kinds of games being played between the Eastern and Western Conference teams. That's why the All-Star games were also were always very interesting because sometimes or oftentimes you would have two different kinds of dynamics, right? Two different play styles going at each other in an All-Star game. Once again, this is not saying that there weren't defensive players or teams did not play defense in the Western Conference. It was the overall style of play, the higher pace with most of the Western Conference teams. That's what they were known for in that time. So you know the deal, guys. Once again, we must continue to educate. We must continue to set the record straight. In the 1990s, Eastern Conference and Western Conference had two different kinds of play styles. Generally, not saying they like said every team was the same, but generally speaking, the Western Conference teams were known for being more of an up and down the court, right? Like I said, a run and gun type of thing. And, you know, the Eastern Conference teams were known for being, like I said, more of a grinded out, physical, defensive, half-court, you know, minded type teams with, with less of a pace. So you guys know the deal, man. I'll catch you guys on the next one.